Welcome. Uh, in this video we'll be talking about uh, the importance of uh, managers uh, helping people dealing with a change. Uh, you may say, oh for God's sake, you've already spoken about it in a previous video. Well, in my experience actually this is a concept that uh, unfortunately is uh, not uh, well developed in a lot of uh, organizations and that's because it uh, requires not just dealing with an activity but because it requires dealing with people's emotions. So, we said earlier that not everyone reacts to change at the same speed. Some people will bounce back very quickly, others actually will struggle dealing with change. Actually, I remember working for an organization, actually it was a massive multinational company, and they had employees whose average length of service was 15-20 years, so pretty long serving. And there was a massive reshake of the organization, so lots of change going on. And I must say that the company, to be honest, uh, was probably not ready for change, but uh, the market basically forced it into a certain direction. So we're going basically from a situation whereby employees were used to work in a certain way, you know, even if the company was losing money, well, not a problem. I mean, it was the only company where I actually witnessed individuals being paid bonuses for being poor performers. I mean, we are talking about a situation that genuinely was out of this world. Not surprisingly, actually, the company nearly went bust. And uh, of course, uh, a new management came and they had uh, basically to revive uh, the situation. And what they found was literally struggle of plenty of individuals that had been working uh, in the same company for donkey years, uh, and all of a sudden were required to uh, uh, basically get a new approach. So on one side there was basically the requirement of the new management to get things going, and on the other side, of course, the requirements of employees to cope with change. I must say that uh, the worst uh, example I've ever seen in my life was actually this company and there was this employee that as I said had been there for about 20 years uh, and basically what the company decided to do, uh, they didn't want to dismiss him. This was actually a company where but also poor performance were not dismissed. Uh, it's very very strange in the UK, I mean because usually someone is not performing, basically you go through the performance management and if required you dismiss them. And actually they got to the point whereby this person was going through a round of redundancy and was extremely demotivated, couldn't understand the change, no one was explaining him the change and actually they finally made him redundant and uh, adding basically literally an awful uh, behaviour from the senior managers. Basically he was working his notice and a bit of project came out and basically they decided that he had to deal with it and basically they extended his notice. Um, it was absolutely atrocious. Well, I do understand that sometimes, uh, you know, companies are very sympathetic and uh, of course they want to support employees. This is very important. Uh, on the other side, we don't want to be seen as an employer that dismisses people here and there and everywhere just because uh, they are not changing, uh, you know, in a split second. Changing a split second is not going to happen. So you have on one side to um, help your employees, uh, you also have to train your managers on how to help employees in a correct way. So always try to train your managers on how to deal with uh, people that are struggling uh, and also train your managers to decide when you have to draw a line. As I said before, there will be people that will not make it and there is no point in uh, you know getting someone on board and keep on going and going and going when this person is uh, incapable or actually is not willing to change. If you need to dismiss someone, always do it in a gracious way, in compliance with legislation and most of all, always respect people's uh, feelings uh, and dignity. I had uh, the chance to work for some investment banks and I was absolutely horrified by the way that some of these banks actually treated their long-serving employees in a situation of change management, literally dismissing them on the spot and kicking them out of the building. That's not the way of dismissing someone, uh, especially because uh, uh, you know it's very important to maintain uh, a level of uh, you know dignity, and there is no requirement actually to humiliate individuals because they are not keeping up with change. Unfortunately, there are some human resources individuals that probably will have to be dismissed as well because that's not a kind of behavior that is acceptable. So find this balance in between uh, 
uh, the requirement of supporting the employees but at the same time uh, do not drag it forever because it's not going to be beneficial for your team for the company and for the employee that unfortunately is being incapable or is unwilling to change and always treat everyone with respect and dignity thank you so much for watching